Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to downgrade from Windows 11 Pro to Windows 11 Home without losing any data or installed apps. This is a safe and easy method, so make sure you watch the video till the end. Let's get started. Here, as you can see, we're currently running Windows 11 Pro Edition. If you're using the Pro Edition and want to downgrade to Windows 11 Home, this video will guide you through the process step by step without losing any data. So let's begin. First, we need to download the latest Windows 11 ISO file from the official Microsoft website. Our ISO file is now downloading. Once it's done, open a new tab. Now download the portable version of Rufus software. Next, check your C drive to ensure you have enough free space. At least 30 gigabytes is required. Now, insert your USB flash drive into the computer. Make sure it's at least 8 gigabytes in size. Open the Rufus software. Select your USB device from the list. Then select the Windows 11 ISO file that we downloaded earlier. Now choose the appropriate partition scheme. Click on the Start button. Choose the required options or check marks when prompted. Click OK to begin. Now Rufus is creating a bootable USB drive. This might take a few minutes depending on your USB drive speed. Once it's done, your bootable USB is ready. You can delete the leftover temporary files if you want. Next, download a registry tweak file from the link provided in the video description. After downloading, right-click the file and click Open. Click Run. Then click Yes. And again, click Yes. Finally, click OK. Now open File Explorer. Go to the bootable USB drive we just created. Click on the setup file. Select Not Right Now when asked about updates. Click Next. Now click on Change What to Keep. Make sure to select Keep Personal Files and Apps. If you choose anything else, 
you might lose your files or installed programs. Click Next. Finally, click the Install button. The installation process will now begin and must complete 100%. Your PC may restart multiple times. Don't worry, that's normal. Just make sure there's no power interruption and do not force restart your PC manually. Otherwise, the update might fail. Once installation is complete, let's check if we've successfully downgraded from Windows 11 Pro to Home Edition. And yes, as you can see, we've successfully downgraded from Windows 11 Pro to Windows 11 Home without losing any data. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more useful Windows tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.